Okay, so I think it's going to be Fallout New Vegas today. Because no one really gave me any recommendations. Um, if anyone's here. that one view as myself.
Okay, right. I'm back. How you doing, Alex? You alright, mate? One of the best games I've ever made, have to agree. Still not starting just yet. Probably gonna start in about five minutes. Oh, Bernie's there as well, how are you doing? Held my bestest cousin. I think, have we to just start? I think we have, haven't we? Don't think any more people are going to be coming in, so let's just go for it. I'm not going to be starting a new game. I'm just going to carry on where I left off. I was, I was asking people to recommend me games to play. No one recommended me anything, so here we are. Um, I'm gonna start a party. Oh, <clears throat> apologize for that. I hear a troublesome lead. Just so I know, raised to the ground. Where exactly? Um, when I'm talking and when sounds coming through now, right? Gears of War. Which one? <laughs> uh, right. Find Alice McCaffrey. And, yeah, right. That's to. Do Cass's quest. I really do not feel like shooting her though. Right now. So I think I'm gonna start the Old World Blues DLC. Before I do that, I'm going to get all the weapons and stuff I need. And then the fight starts. People want to play Overwatch. Yeah, I don't mind playing Overwatch. I prefer the original game to the new one at the moment. I, I kind of feel like they've ruined Overwatch a little bit, this this new one. Because, um... I, I, I miss the loot boxes, you know what I mean? And now you have to um, get 19,000 coins to buy a skin. It's a bit ridiculous, I'm not really a fan of it. Someone did the maths as well, I think you, you have to play the game for fin days straight before you can buy a skin. Where to, partner? But yeah, I don't mind playing Overwatch. It's um I used to be really good at that game back Can't when it first came out, but now I just um Why can't I dismiss Cass? Inside the lucky now I'm just really, really bad at that game. All the gears of war, anyway. So, I've had to play them all from start to finish. So I'll do the first one, then the second one. You know what I mean? I have to do that. To be honest, it's not a bad idea. I might actually do that. Nice one. Uh, shouldn't have put that one in there. That's a unique weapon. I don't know where it got off of this. Monetization is awful. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, I knew there would be a catch the second they said, oh, Overwatch 2 is free. I was like, mm, what's the catch? And apparently it was a battle pass and really expensive skins. Uh, right. I don't know if these are the guns I want to take to Big Valley. That's breaking, so is that.
I think I've got enough stim packs, Anna. So yeah, let's head to um, Big Valley then, and not Big Valley, um, the Big Empty to do this quest. Just going to dismiss Rex here. Oh. For some reason, won't let me dismiss Cass. It might be because of the. Mi oh no, it's All there. right. I roll her sweet. Casino floor. Fuck NCR. No thanks. Let me fix that pistol. Do we have any weapon repair kits? That's a no, right. But anyway, if you're in chat, don't don't be afraid to chat. You know, talk about anything, mate. Formula One, football, um, video games, TV shows, movies, a lot of it. Speaking of TV shows, anyone seen The Walking Dead? Last episode, no? I have. Gonna try and keep it spoiler free, but... driving. Right. I think we're going to get a little cutscene here as well. Cutscenes in Fallout. Who'd have thought? Right. <laughs> Salt carbine. Why have I got weapon mods? Mantis egg. Right, let's just... Oh yeah, it has to be at 3 in the morning, doesn't it? It has to be booky time. Can't handle scary. Playing Resident Evil Village was enough for, for me, for life. Resident Evil Village wasn't that scary. I think Resident Evil 2 was more scary than Resident Evil Village. The only part in the village that I did not like at all was the part with the zombie baby. That was horrendous. Really did not like that part. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the yeah, facility uh, to that, tackle the greatest technological I don't think would, challenges it would be as of the air. If I had my weapons, but they sought is, to create a is. new world fueled by technology for the benefit of You guys want to shut up while this is going on, or do you not care what Doctor Morbius says? Sonic emitters, say? I don't. I've heard this too many times. DNA hybridization, force field particle research. Autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a oh, huge well, stone actually. facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new Resident energy Evil to Big Mountain and, and its scientists. Evil. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war. Well, not a remaster, sorry, a remake. At the atomic Can't level. wait to see the, um, the trailer Equations again. Equations and calculations well, marched cool. endlessly we across the chalkboards and, and computer shit, terminals toward one solution. Winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. 
The problems began to outpace the solutions. First, geometrically. Then, exponentially. Yeah, I, I was stuck today. As the war to escalated, I, so did so the I questions. So I ended up streaming this, but On it was a toss-up between October this 23rd, and 2007, 2007, the scientists an answer that and put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain I don't know what would have been the better option, went but, to sleep. but we're here now. Their creator slowly died in the new world that had well. been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the big empty lay untouched. Jesus Christ, is Morbius still not finished? Technological wonders. Can I skip this? Wonders I that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Oh, finally! I'll do some reading this time. I, I'm not gonna skip. I'm not not gonna read now, because people got upset when I wasn't reading in The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> you feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Welcome to the big empty. It's also now I can see now. Right, welcome to the sink. This is probably the coolest um, player home you can use in the base game, in my opinion. Something in that footlocker apparently, what is it? Bottle cap taking it. Pink tank. Yeah, I can't draw my weapon in here, can I? Because I don't have my... I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Uh, he said no. Oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... How did now, a, either of them adjust great. the volume? Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I no talking about? They have arms or pincers or anything. They can't grab anything. Or can they? Oh, da da da. How was that a fear to here? Uh, yeah. Don't give a shit what you have to say. Tell me why you hold me in here now. Yeah, that sounds that like That response answer. seemed demanding, as if cutting to the case. Uh, chase. How surgical. Reminds me of. Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. How's the volume, by the it way? It can right? only be. Oop. Am I too quiet? If it isn't it's my old quiet. colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools. Oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! 
Even the technology sealed in the big mountain research centers cannot save you. People want so to skip the dialogue. So your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are they going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, I'm getting bored now. Just two guys on the helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, Forget and leave the part this. about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. Uh, one minute. I'm just gonna get the volume from the game to come through my headset. There we are. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless perk. I, I have that one in real life. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction. That's a pretty good effect. 25% resistance, okay. And shock from bodily damage, plus 5% damage threshold, minimum plus one. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, I know how damage threshold works in this game. It's like a percentage chance to not take any damage. It's weird. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh, the Tesla coils in its head. This is fortunate in many respects. What if is your it brain was out anywhere in the dome? The why of you our can character. access your aggression centers? Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Mm, that doesn't explain the laser structures on my chest and on my spine. Yeah, go on, we'll sound. Uh, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although, in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. Oh, that made me feel really, First, really amazing. was the heart. Did not lie out. Heartless perk. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned. That's pretty good. And filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items and chems to function at higher level. 
plus 25 percent that's actually quite good robots are now confused by you and 50 percent less likely to score a critical hit Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart, brain was first, third was the spine. Spineless perk, due to complications of the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled and your strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. Spine, totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart and spine. You extracted my brain, but what do you mean misplaced it? If you ripped out my bla brain... If you ripped out my brain, where the hell is it? Yeah, that's what we're going with. No. You extracted my brain, what do you mean by misplaced it? To be correct, it? you should say... This the is why I don't read. <laughs> took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed its own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush! That is the sound of flushing. By the fissure of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Uh, I can stop him with bullets. Will that do? Uh, first rescue part of my brain, now you want me to save you. You said something about needing technologies to sort Mobius. No, I'm not going to help you. I feel like if I say that, I feel like he kills me. That is correct, yes. I know there's a dialogue option I hope you're not here, demonstrating resentment me. now. If you are, well, we can't have that. Uh, right. What makes you so sure Mobius has my brain? How the hell am I even talking to you right now? That does it. Forget this. I'm not helping you until I get my brain back. We have no okay. idea. This line of questioning isn't important oh, to us right now. Shall. Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's not kind of embarrassing. Time. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need over. your help. Will you help us? Uh, Excellent. Sorry. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. 
So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Uh... Nonsense! This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more no, lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And eight a sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. I am going to do a lot of exploring the creator. What's the play? If you're playing Fallout, don't just rush to do the quests, right? Experience the world. Man. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish uh. to end it all quickly and carelessly guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, experiment. Nobel. Challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. <sighs> ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet. Returning it to us quickly and rectly, uh, directly. I'm processing that last one. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all! Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning! You are too close! If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take it. many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. <sighs> oh. Do I can't leave. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, 
You know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. Uh, is that knob again? It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound no, wave, not genius, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in TV. Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, How are you just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness so. of my high school days, no the sadness of my youth, my time. youth lost. Unless you mean you're just staring at it. Oh really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Think Tattletale and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? No, it doesn't. Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. I don't want to use this gun anymore. Ding! Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate oh, Codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for oh, your uh, hands. Energy weapons, energy cells have high expenditure rate. Some extra reserve cells could offset. Hmm. Yes, I believe what Watts else? Electronics tended to make the battery shelf life on the low end. They certainly did. Batteries for my vibe vivisectors always <laughs> come up short right before a climax. I think Watts manufactured hollow discs, or was it hollow tapes? You never can keep those two straight. Anyway, we're out of small energy cells. Dala. You have some? Why do we actually never mind. I don't even want to know. And no, I don't want to handle your batteries. Just pass them on to the lobotomite yourself. <laughs> That's Sonic gone. Looks like an energy projectile got anything that spits lead. What did it say? Spits lead? What, like pencils? No bullets oh, it. I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal son. Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following the glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I, I said it already. 
Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Gun. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? What isn't cool is how it was made. They scooped a dog's brain out and put it in it. Not joking. Uh, this gun looks really hungry. I'd like to make sure it gets fed a lot. Fine. Oh, shit, please. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. Hollow points and hand loads. Okay. I say hollow points are useless, but not. They explode on impact. They actually do a lot more damage than a regular bullet wolf because when it goes into the body it explodes so shrapnel gets sent all over the body so it's harder to clean up. Harder to survive too. Yeah, uh, these be sterilized the too. The sonic right? emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always I a weapon. It was more weapon. like a force field kind of thing. Once. Wait, force fields prevent us from moving. Forward or backward. They are irritating. You're the irritating. sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O... That only happened once. And I know you were behind still fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise that things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Can I go? Man? Yes. Um. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Well, no, not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of his stupid labs. Or inside one of his stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Big Mountain shall be fielded I'm skipping all this dialogue now. I'm really sorry. I can't do this shit anymore. <laughs> Fine, so, oh, right. yes, get these on. things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. I'm going to murder well, all of you. good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank, thank you. Wait, is it leaving? Uh, but, uh, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest, recuperation. Things like that. I, I volunteer that. my chambers, so it might be stared at. My monitor radars. No! I'm that this. would put it too <laughs> close <laughs> to <laughs> us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We can give it Mobius' in. old room. That's where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, oh, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out heart. with its spine yeah. and heart. Because that's all where the heart is, after heart, all. Heart, yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? Cool. Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. I hope some of this is amusing for me. I need to clip some of these. Eight says, the let the lobotomite there. take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program, but. Sorry. Money! Give me more money! Okay, there we go. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah, I need to um, clip some of this actually. Later on and put it in my. Um, put some more clips in my TikTok. Need to promote myself after all. Salutations and felicitations. It it's about a hustle.
Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. Uh, ooh, sometimes I get a good feeling. Do we have any cans I could sell? I've got beer. I can sell you beer. I do have cans. No, don't give him the medics actually, because I need to give the medics to the followers of the apocalypse woman. I'm gonna use this say I'm gonna use this trunk actually. <clears throat> to store some things while I'm here. Like the cyberdog gun, for example. I'm over here. Oh, never mind, they're drained. I hope they're like, those are not the ones that Darl are using. Right. Pink tank, big empty. Right, there we go. Can finally play the game! Right, let's see. X8 Research Center, that'll be the best place to go now. I need to install the um, holotape, which lets me um, take down four fields. Go back to Mike! I missed. I didn't miss. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It puts you in the lobotomite stuff. There we go. Put my combat armor on. Hunting shotgun, nice. Can sell that. Forty-four Magnum. Most powerful handgun in the world. The Reds are here to pull the sound of the for that. It's not as good in this game as it is in CODs. Oh, the cyber dogs. Fun fact about these cyber dogs, let me give you some war. These cyber dogs were made for the Denver Police Department, where um, they were used because police dogs, for some reason, were used extensively in Denver. Not too sure why, but they were. I don't know if that's a real world f fact that police dogs are used quite extensively in Denver, or if it's just um, Fallout. Probably just Fallout. So. Because they use police dogs a lot, the police dogs kept dying. Obviously, because dogs don't really live too long, unfortunately. So, uh... What they did was they made these cyber dogs, which increased the lifespan of the dogs by, like... 100 years? Well, it's been 200 years actually since the war, so these dogs are all over 200 years old. Until I came along and shot them all. Yeah, I hate myself for it. Fallout law! I have lots of it. Anyone want to know any more? Right, so Alex, if you're there, mate, are you still there? Um, considering you want me to stream Gears of War, and you're the only person who's recommended me anything, I will stream the Gears of War story probably next weekend, because I need to get the games from my other location. To, um... 
to install them and start streaming them and stuff. I don't have the remastered Gears of War 1, however I do have the original Gears of War, so I can just um, install that on my Xbox, use the backwards compatibility. And Gears of War 2, free. I don't know if you want me to do Judgment. I could stream Judgment. I'd rather not though, because I'm not really a fan of that game. I mean, it's okay, but as far as Gears of War games go, there is better, in my opinion. Still there, Alex, mate? Yeah, see, it can't finger it up, kind of. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to get first. Right. As useless as the bottle of the same name. Well, except as an example of an object that uselessly tries to fulfill its purpose. I should probably turn the radio off, shouldn't I? That night stalker's pissed off, so I'm not gonna bother. X8 Research Center. Okay, okay. Here we go again! I don't know if my chat's just not working or if you've been typing in the chat this whole time because it's not caught up. I'm just going to reset my chat real quick and, um, well, not reset it. I'm going to close the, the stream I'm watching and then reload it and see if it's, if it's there. I've gained a follower this stream. Fantastic. No, now everything's disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to do this shit. <laughs> Basic test. Area loaded. Attention students, this is the pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Wolverine, that is an Easter egg to a TV show. Not Wolverine and uh, Marvel character. There's an Easter egg in this game, and two Wolverine. In the husk of another feared predator. Oh, and the tarantula hawk. Can't spice enough, I always say. Especially if you can make a magnificent caterdor. Enough about me. It has come to my attention that many of you seemingly innocent children have been subverted by red propaganda. This is a most serious matter, requiring the most serious Marcus's attention. Marcus's record. Yeah, it looks like mine. Can no, you spell not D's. Attention? Straight How D's, I got. It's it. an easy joke you can make, though. Now, I will send vicious cybernetic cyborg dogs through the corridors to weed all you traitors out. They will I wish some these guys would shut up. Especially you. Step outside during 
You strike me as someone I would not get along with. This doctor talking's an arse. Photon axe. Yeah, go on. Oh no, yeah, I know where the um, final uh, thing is. of them. Oh my! You got to the residential test. This is really Boros, by the way. Hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. This is a little Easter egg to the famous painting of the dogs playing poker. There's even an ace hidden under the table, which is in the picture as well. It's in the painting. It's between the dog's um, pad on his paw, who's sat in the exact same place as that dog. There's a protector on him somewhere. Eh, he died. Yeah, you shut the re- no, actually, I'm not going to spoil it. Fucking dog. You're about to have your favorite treat. A visitor. Won't that be nice? Don't eat the visitor, boy. Don't, please. I really hate all this food for two stars. I really do. I just. It, it angers me. I replaced his legs with spare parts and fed him a steady diet of psycho lace dog chow. They also took off. No, I don't want to pull. To be fair, it's kind of cute. Um... Gabe's in the kennel, though. So yeah, the cyber dogs, uh, they were Boris's invention. He, he did a lot of things actually with animals, like Cazadors, the whole reason they're a thing is because of Boris. The whole reason Night Stalkers are a thing because of Boris. Um, yeah, he's just really not a nice guy. I guess that's the idea, though, of this, isn't it? They're all supposed to be mad scientists. But, um... It's a residential cyber dog. So, the, the cyber dogs, the way they're made is they get a normal dog. And they scoop their brain out. And loads of other organs. And basically experiment them on it. Experiment on them until they look like this. They become a canine unit. Now, let the 
Animal friend, by the way, unfortunately does not Yeah. It's a shame. So yeah, now, now I can do the advanced test as well. Attention students! This is the pre-recorded voice oh, of your yeah, re principal, Dr. Principal Boros! Bake sale Friday. Fight the red menace with cookies. Please take cover until the danger has been Fucking hell, man, you just gotta get over it. Just move on. School is a safe Even though I am alone, they probably regretted that shit in their own. Now I see its worth, and see it was corrupted by fraternities and girls. Yuck. Doobie doobie. Hey, go again. What do you got for a bit? Oh, shit. It is. How long have I been streaming for? An hour and six minutes. Bang on. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. I remember what you have to do. Chipping um. department. Just get all of these notes. Yeah, I think it just gives me um, locations of several items that we need. Uh, 
sometimes. X13 reaches reach uh, fuck research facility. Test on a force field. There is one more test that you have to do here later on. Like advanced testing or something. Uh, okay. Please avoid boom down for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved. That's Boomtown. <laughs> right in front of me. Right, I'm going to head back to. What are you doing? How are you doing, mate? Smelling the generous. Alright, I like that name. There we are. Sterilize a glove. That is a unique weapon. Oh, hello. You're not stopping me, but I'm gonna stop your heartbeat. I wonder if he's doing so much damage. You got a hunting revolver. Smelling the generous, by any chance, is that you, Kane? Is that Kane, by any chance? Okay, there should be something more in here. I think there's a holotic. There you go. Oh, it's a patient lock. Never mind. Da -da -da -da. I remember there being something else in here. It might have just been that sterilizer glove. But seriously, all I came back here for. Uh, sometimes. Let's go to Higgs Village. Now it is. Super Ego. It's a named Robo Brain. No wonder it took three bullets to kill. Oh, that has a sterilizer glove on it as well. Guess it's not a rare weapon. Guess it's not a unique. It must just be a rare one, though. Village. <laughs> Hello. Higgs Village, right? There's something in all of these houses, but before we go in any of the houses. That is Gabe's kennel. Well, it, it was. Now, if you've seen the gremlins, it's Stripe's kennel, who is a miniature death claw, who is very strong and very fast, but he will not go near the well. He's dead. He also has an egg timer on him. I'm guessing that's to do with... Obviously don't feed them after midnight. And he's also got chicken legs. Yeah, so this was Gabe's. Oh, if we take his ball, we can give it to Boris and make him feel really bad about himself. So I'm going to do that. Right. This is Boris's house. Hence all of the bird cages because he experiments on animals.
very hard. I'll be the judge of that. 87 bubble pe pins. That's a lot of bubble pins. Bubble pins. I mean bobby pins. I do beg your pardon. Hey. Is there a teddy bear in a cage? A ripper. I like the um, ripper in Fallout 3, the unique one called Jack. So I jab the ripper. I feel like there should be more in here. I feel like there is and I feel like I'm missing it. A very hard lock for this and there's nothing here. Can't be right. It can he be right, surely. If you saw a little jump there, that was done intentionally. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Time is it? Ah, there we are. Medicine for the skill. Skill book medicine. Locker. Bottle caps. Bottle caps. Foot locker again. Bottle caps. Alright. I swear there was more in this house. I swear there's usually more in here. Oh, by the way, another little uh, fun fact, fallout fact for you. The Securatrons that Mr. House has were all made here. Yeah, what do you think of that? 108 house. I think this might be Dr. O's um, house because of all the radio signals. I don't know why there's so many coffee mugs. You can find the jukebox holotape here, if I remember correctly. There you are. Sync Project Jukebox. And audio sample opera singer. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox and sync to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. That's what the opera singer does. You can get the several different types, like there's the tarantula hawk and there's um, the revelation, which is one you have. Opera singer. I think there's another one called Gabe's Ark or something like that. Which you get by giving Doctor... I think I just picked up a fork. Which I do not want on my... On me. I don't want these mantis eggs either. Let me drop those. Food a div... Food a div... Food a div I didn't play that, so I picked up. Don't want that. Tool cabinet. Mentats. This could be Dr. Mobius. Is no, it's dollars. It's dollars. I only know because of all the teddy bears. I swear there's a thing here. I swear there's a holotape. Ah! Speech skill book. There we go. Okay, okay.
Yeah, it's a Curatron. <laughs> Throwing knives at Mr. House. Because Mr. House has the Securitrons and Mr. House didn't pay him. So he has he has it out for Mr. House, which is why he, he's thrown knives at him. That is Liberty Prime as well that stood behind him. Those who've played Fallout 3 and 4 know who Liberty Prime is. Well, the theory is it's Liberty Prime, but it could just be another massive robot like him. Because apparently, giant tarantula, there you go. It's another audio sample for the jukebox. Okay. 101. I think all of these houses are actually named after vaults in some way, shape, or form. But 101 is the vault you come out of in Fallout 3, isn't it? First aid, no stim packs. Mentats though. Mentats doll. Sync project book shoot. Dr. Klein's glove, that's a unique weapon. Dr. Klein's scrubs, that's unique as well. I think on the bedside table there is, you can find his glasses. Oh no, they're at the um, think tank, sorry. Forgot to grab them, I think. I think they're at the think tank. I think this house is trying to be more creepy than the other ones. Trying. I can see perfectly. I don't need that. Yeah, there's a lot of Mentats here. Um, Dr. Mobius is obsessed with Mentats, which is probably why he's... ...so crazed. Science skill book. Right, I think I've gotten everything here. If you don't want to miss anything and you are playing through this game, by the way, I highly recommend you use a YouTuber's guide called Cardio Genesis. I highly recommend you use him because he has guides for everything. Fallout, Elder Scrolls, you name it, he's got guides and they're usually really, really good. Because he has guides for the DLCs as a whole for you to get all of the unique weapons and armor. And um, for this one, he did where to get the unique. Um, well, all of the sync projects. I'm trying to find the exit. What do we just leave through that?
Yeah, Higgs Village is just where all the scientists lived. That was that was the point of it. Speaking of points, let's head to Ulysses' point. One of the coolest characters in Fallout is Ulysses. Back besides Joshua Graham. I don't think Fallout 4 really had many cool characters besides maybe Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine was really cool. I like I liked Nick. The like synth detective. I really did like that. And then the Far Harbor DLC as well, which just extended his um, his story and personality. No companion really got that love in Fallout 4 besides him. I mean, obviously you get people like McCready. McCready's cool, I guess. I mean, it's cool that he was from... Because we knew him in Fallout 3 when he was a kid, and now he's in Fallout 4 and he's a... Player companion. He's not as annoying as he was in Fallout 3 as well. Fuck! Those of you in the chat, there are some of you. There is precisely two of you. <laughs> um, the third one is is me. I've it's so. Who is your favourite Fallout companion? Or your favourite companions from all of the Fallout games? Which one? I think mine, honestly. I think Fallout 3, my favourite companion in Fallout 3 would be Forks, Super Mutant. I think in Fallout New Vegas, this one, it's a toss-up between Raul and Boone. I do like Rex, but Rex, I'm, I'm not going to mention Rex because everybody loves Rex. And Fallout 4, probably going to have to give that one to Nick Valentine. Although, Fallout 4, I really do like Curie as well, because she's a Mr... She's not a Mr. Handy, is she? She's a... What's the female version called? Is it... Um... I forget what it's called, actually. A Miss Nanny, that's it. But she's a medical version, so she's a nurse. <laughs> she's got a French accent. She become human. Because she feels like it would be valuable to her research. So we turn her into a synth. I thought that storyline was really cool. Oh, for those of you who love Doctor Who, let's see if we can hear it. Hear a reference here. I'll be quiet. Let's see if we can hear it. I have to get down and find him, don't I? There you go. He said, hey, who turned out the lights? Which is a reference because... Well, you're about to find out. When I kill these guys, I'll show you. Is that up? No. So, these Y17 trauma override harnesses, right? 
Now, these guys look like they're wearing spacesuits, and some of them even have space helmets. From what I'm told, there's an episode in uh, Doctor Who where an astronaut goes to space and he, he dies, and they see him again, but all that they see in the astronaut suit is, a, is his skull. So he's a skeleton. And um, the one thing he says before he turns around, before they see his face is, Hey, who turned out the light? No, actually, sorry, I'm wrong. He says, hey, who turned out the lights before he dies? When he becomes a skeleton, so that's why. But, moving on to the Fallout lore of these trauma override harnesses. These were made out of the... Uh, well, in hopes of... If a soldier died, the trauma harness would keep them fighting for the army. So, they would... Um, so if the soldier died inside, the suit would automatically keep firing and what have you, and it would take control, and then when the battle had finished, it would return to base and be like, yeah, there's a dead guy inside me. So you need to get me a new soldier for the suit. But the problem was, it didn't really work because... When they died and the battle was over, the harnesses would just wander. They'd just wander around. And they wouldn't go to a base. Especially here in Big Empty, because they didn't have a base set. So, that's why. That's why they were still wandering about and killing people. Saying that though, they all came here. Stalkers, right. Night stalkers and all the bottom line. Apparently they're not attacking people. Oh god damn it, stay still. How we do it. Okay. Vats. Always useful. Medicine. Let's put some skill points in medicine. Put some in repair. Put some in science. Uh, I need to get my energy weapon skill up a bit as well. But that next time we'll have a look. Okay. So before I continue, I'm going to head back to the sick. This is. I've got a lot of stuff now. Let me sell some things. I like some equipment. But I didn't know you could do that. Money is so easy to come by in this game. I'm really not that worried. Right, rest of it, let's sell it. Sell my 44 Magnums, sell the 10 mm machine guns, they're mine, that's mine, that's mine. Sell all of these, that's mine, that's mine. Sell that. Pardon me, sell that. Uh, sell that, sell those, sell those. That's mine, keep that. Sell that. Um. Sell one, keep one. Collectability. Sell the Mentats. See what I mean? See how much money I just made back. Anyway, I've got some personalities to put away. For now though, let's put some of this stuff in here. 
put the Cyberdog gun in there, do the layer. So that's an Iron Fist. I'm going to swap one of these guns out and put the Sonic Emitter in there, just to make it easier for when I come across a force field. What should I put away? The laser rifle or the plasma rifle? What do you reckon? I think we'll put away the laser. Right. Oh, we've got a sterilizer clip as well that I need to put away. There we go. So I got the jukebox personality. Jukebox is here. Ooh, -ee. yeah, dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back online. Dig, What's your purpose here? I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Mo used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Seems pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. Why not? Ain't like I got nothing to prove. Not like that toaster. Now that boy got some issues. Can you do anything Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream, <laughs> if that's what you want. Right on, on daddy yo. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Some felt opera singer, some felt spiritual. Mm, used to, long time ago. Then old Doc Mo ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues, even if I can't play them no more. Okay. Right on, Daddy. Let's spin some grooves. Revelation. Opera singer. Revelation. Tarantula. Tarantula. Uh, sometimes. I think Tarantula sets them on fire when you shoot them, was it? I got the bug ah, shoot schematic as well. Good day, I? citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white and sedition-free. What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. All out, pencil. Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Citizen. I'm gonna skip over this now. Uh, and I got the. Uh, well, how about that? Old auto docks back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. Every time I think of a doctor on a video game, I instantly think of Doctor Z from Borderlands. Right. Yeah, I can now. Oh no. Sedition.
Greetings, citizen. Uh, yeah, there you go. This is a good way to improve your skills afterwards if um, obviously you've leveled up too much and now you don't get skill points. You can come here and do those. It's just getting blank books. To do it, to get blank books is, is pretty easy. You just, yeah, I'll show you. Take these pre-war books. All you do then is you go Greetings, to the Greetings, citizen. Book you Fantastic. You give him the books. Two blank books. So you get. So it's a blank book per book. Obviously. And you need 25, so. Good luck. <laughs> and they weigh as well. They have a weight. If you want to make money in this game as well, and you're quite early level, and you want money quick, I recommend you pick up pre-war money, because it weighs nothing, and every pre-war money, one pre-war money sells for 10 caps. So, as you can see here, I have some pre-war money somewhere. Yeah, pre-war money. So I have 228, it's also 2,280 2, caps. That's all of that together. Also another one is cigarettes. Cigarettes sell for a lot of bottle caps. Sky toil. Full of tips and tricks for Fallout games. Your favourite game series after all, so you have to be. Oh my game just crashed. Oh, that that was well. That just happened. There we are. So, whoever's in chat, whoever that one is, just me and you. Type in chat. Identify yourself. Nah, I'm joking, you don't have to if you want. Just awful lonesome. Right, there we go. 
wouldn't be a Bethesda game if it didn't crash every now and then, would it? <laughs> So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some highlights of this stream. If, if anyone knows how to do highlights and clips and things so I can upload them onto um, my TikTok, because TikTok is where I promoted everything here. I started off this little channel I'm trying to grow on TikTok by just posting clips of my game footage. So, if anyone knows how to do that, please let me know. Also, try and get the best moments, funniest moments. And I might put them in a compilation and upload them to YouTube. For example, me missing could be going in that compilation. <laughs> To be honest, it's, um, I've been streaming for nearly two hours, 15 minutes off two hours. Should we hit the two hour mark and then call it, I think we'll hit the two hour mark and call it, call this stream. The hazmat testing room. Oh, I have armor piercing rounds. Right. That's useful information. I didn't hotkey that. Who's shooting at me? See how good these armor piercing rounds are. Hazmat suit is the same hazmat suit from the Sierra Madre Casino. I am stuck. DNA processing. Let's go in here. We have next to doors. Last time I did this DLC, I don't remember there being this many night stalkers. Flip. Did I not put that in the box? I thought I put that in the box. 
Oh no, I put the laser rifle in the box, didn't I? Oh, I missed. Night Stalker samples. Night Stalkers, by the way, are what happens when you mix a rattlesnake and a coyote. have we got in here? Fuck all. Night Stalker squeezings. Fuck, sir. Well, it's worth a hundred caps, so I'm taking them and we'll sell them. I know I said we were gonna go to the ten go if you go no <laughs> said we were gonna go to the ten hour mark but I think I've done a lot there. Um let me know if you want me to stream the rest of this. More than happy to. Um make sure to share this with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, please. Please, I um feeling awful lonely. <laughs> Doing these streams and it all it being only me at the end. Oh well, it is what it is. So, um, hope you enjoyed this stream. Look after yourselves, take care. So, well, um, I'm gonna finish the stream off here. I'll, um, I'm gonna try and make some highlights. I'm gonna see how this works and, um, try and upload those onto my TikTok. If you want to know what my TikTok is, and you're watching the stream and you don't know what it is, it's Gravewalker405, exactly like my Twitch name. It has the same profile picture, so there you go. That's my TikTok, there's, there's stuff there that you might enjoy, including guides to video, guides of, guides, tips and tricks to games, my collection of Funko Pops. Um, what else is on there? Some funny clips. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>